everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm just going to do some really quick and easy DIYs. These DIYs are perfect for anyone who's new to crafting. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, first off I have these little rainbow decor pieces and I picked these up at Dollar Tree. Here's the skew. This DIY is a request. Someone asked me for a blingy paper towel holder. So this is what we're going to do and this is the base. So the first thing I want to do is glue both of these together. And I'm using some of the Gorilla Clear Grip Glue. So now I'm going to use some masking tape to help hold these pieces together while the glue sets up. So I'm going to let that set up and then come back to it. Okay guys, I'm back. I added more tape and removed the tape in the middle. I removed it because I want to go ahead and put the wooden dowel right in the center. And I picked these up at Walmart. So all I'm going to do is glue this right in the center. And again, I'll be using some more of my Gorilla Glue. So I'm just going to put some right there in the center. I'll use these hearts, the points on the hearts, as my guide. And I'm going to put this right in the center. Okay, so now I'll let this dry for about an hour. I'm not worried about the glue holding this together permanently because I am going to come back and add a screw to this. So yeah, be right back. Okay guys, I'm back and the glue has set up well enough for me to drill, I believe. So I have my drill and I'm going to drill a hole right in the center. Sorry guys, the camera died in the middle of me trying to put this together. So let me just pick up where I left off. Now I have the screwdriver on here to drill this on. And let me just put this right here. So that's on there. So now we have the glue that's going to hold it and we have the screw that's going to hold it. But as you can see it wobbles so we're going to fix that by adding some of these little rubble bumpers on the bottom. And I'm not going to remove the tape yet because I want this to dry for at least 24 hours. So now it's good and steady. So I'm going to let this sit overnight spray paint it silver come back and then we'll decorate okay guys so here's our paper towel holder and here's the feet again that I put on the bottom so now it's good and sturdy so now I want to decorate it and make it a little bit more bling I have this box of potluck bling when you have those extra pieces left over don't throw them away because you can use them in 50 DIYs here I have some bling I'm sure this came from totallydazzled.com and I'll link her below you can also find this at Dollar Tree and here we have five rows. So what I want to do is put this right in the center. But I want it to curve around the rod. So I'm just going to start in the middle and cut a curve. That's the good thing about this mesh bling. You can manipulate it. See, so now I have a curve. And now I just need to see where I need to cut it. Right here. Okay, so to put this down, I'm going to use some of this fix-all glue from Dollar Tree. But the hot glue will be cloudy and it won't be as blingy. And then just cut off the excess. Do the same thing on this side. So now I'll take more bling and glue it on the side. And I'll just continue to glue more strips of the bling here and here and then come back. Okay, so I'm done laying down my bling. I'm going to allow this to dry. Once it dries, I'll come back and trim off this excess with the scissors. Okay guys, I'm back. So the glue has completely dried. So now I'm just going to take these scissors and I'll pick these up at Dollar Tree as well. And just trim off the excess. Just hold the scissors right next to the base and cut around. Alright, so now we have our blingy 
base. So now I'm going to take some mirror towel and trim around the outside of the bottom because I want that to be really blingy. I really want it to stand out. And because it will be in the kitchen and there's cooking and moisture and all that stuff going on, I'm going to add some fix all to the back of the mirror towels. Okay, so it's going to take three rows of the mirror towel to cover the bottom of the base. Line it up. Put it on there. All right, just like that. So I'll continue to go all the way around and then come back. Okay guys, I finished putting the mirror towel on the base and I put some masking tape to hold until the glue sets up. Now, naturally, this part won't be seen. In between changing the paper towels or maybe you run out, it looks kind of boring. So I've decided to add some mirror towel to the pole as well, just because I'm extra and I just wanted to be a little bit more blingier. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and add some mirror towel to the base as well. Again, I'll be using some of the fix-all glue just to make sure that it stays on. I'll just show you a couple and then I'll do the remaining part off camera. And finally, I want to add this knob to it, this crystal knob. And it seems a little big, but it's perfect for the size of the base. It all equals out perfectly. So I'm going to glue this on with some of the Gorilla Glue. It seems a little big, but don't worry about it. Paper towels will go over it. So I'm going to take some of my Gorilla Glue and glue it on it. So I'm going to put some masking tape on it to help hold it down while it sets up. But yeah. Once it dries, I'll come back and remove the tape from the base and let you guys see what it looks like. Now back to our paper towel holder. The knob is glued completely on. So now let's remove the tape from the base. And there you have it. So when you're out of paper towels, you'll have a nice blingy piece of decor. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love it. And here's a roll of paper towels. It is good to go. Look at that. Isn't it cute? Here I have two of the Dollar Tree hexagon mirrors. This one I already removed the mirror from the inside. And now I'm going to go ahead and remove these little brackets to hold the mirror in place. Okay, so now we have that. So I decided what I want to do is go ahead and spray paint both of these silver. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the mirror. I'm not going to remove the brackets from this piece because I'm replacing the mirror. But I will remove these off the back of here. So now I'll take both frames outside and spray paint them silver. Okay guys, I'm back and I spray painted both frames silver. I've already put the mirror back in this one. But what I want to do now is go ahead and add some hot glue to seal this in place. So now I'll let the hot glue set up and then I'll come back and move on with the DIY. So guys, I have six of these wooden dowels and I picked these up at Walmart as well. And I'm going to go ahead and spray paint these silver and then come back. Okay guys, I'm back and it's quite a few days later. Life has been really crazy and a lot of you know why. But um, I want to go ahead and continue on with my DIY. This is going to be the top, okay? So what I'm going to do now is take my dowels and I have six of these. And I'm going to glue these to my mirror. I'm going to use some hot glue along with some of my Gorilla Glue and glue the sticks in place. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is take some glue and put it right on the side of the stick, just like that. And then I'm going to put some hot glue on the bottom of the stick. Then I'm going to just put the part with the glue on the back right against the mirror. 
right against this corner. And I'm gonna hold it here until the hot glue sets up. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit more hot glue. Just a tiny bit. And put it right alongside the stick to secure it a little more, okay? And I'm gonna continue to do this all the way around. Okay, I'm done adding all the sticks. Before I move to the next step, I want to make sure that the Gorilla Glue is completely dry. Okay? So I'm going to let that dry and then we'll come back and move on with the DIY. Okay guys, so I have let this sit up overnight. So what I want to do now is go ahead and glue the top part of mine. And I'm just going to turn this upside down and do it that way. But before I do that, I'm going to add some of my glue to the inside of the frame. And I'm going to put it right at the bottom. All right, so now I'll just turn this upside down and put each stick right in front of the glue. You wanna make sure that the stick is pressed firmly against the top. Once everything is in place, you can go in with some glue, some hot glue, and put some right on the outside of each stick. This is going to allow the stick to stay in place while the Gorilla Glue dries. Okay guys, so the hot glue has set up. So what I want to do now is just camouflage my hot glue. And I think I'm going to use some rhinestones to cover those up. I have these rhinestones that I picked up from Michaels, but Dollar Tree has them as well. They are actually smaller and I think I have some. But yeah, let's just use some of these to cover up. I think I just want to just glue them right in there. and then put a couple of the diamonds right there. And I'm gonna do it on both sides. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do each piece at the bottom and I'm gonna do it at the top as well. And then I'll come back. Okay, so now I'm done adding the diamonds on the inside of the base and the top as well. So I decided to trim the top of the bottom base with some of this bling that I picked up at Amazon and I'll link it below. Um, here I have some strips that I've already cut. So what I'll do is just glue it down with some hot glue. Alright and then just put this right on top. I'll do another one on camera then I'll go off camera and do the top and the bottom. Okay, so for the very top, I'm going to use two rows of my mirror tile, and on the bottom side of the base, I'm going to use mirror tiles as well. And this is going to take three rows, and this is going to take two rows. Then I'll add two rows on the top. Just line it up with the bottom one and it'll be perfect. Again, I'll go on camera and complete this and then come I'm done adding the mirror to the outside at the top and the bottom. I also put some on the top and then right inside the top, I put the same bling, okay? So now we have two pieces that match. So we really could be done right there, but you can see the back of these diamonds and I really don't like that. So I'm gonna take some of the Dollar Tree gems and glue that right on there to give it a little bit more detail and to cover up those diamonds. And of course I'm using hot glue. You can see the stick here. So what I'm gonna do is put some flat back rhinestones on top to cover that. Okay, 
Okay, so now that we have this little opening here, I'm going to cover that with two smaller rhinestones. Here's the top completed, and you might see a few fingerprints on there that I need to clean up. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Now, and as for these sticks, you can glam them up a little bit more by adding some glitter. Simply put some Mod Podge on the sticks, sprinkle some glitter, and then seal it with some hairspray. I want to make this more springish, summerish, so I'm going to add some greenery to it. Now, if you don't want to add the greenery, you can always spray paint these leaves silver, sprinkle them with a little glitter to make it more glam. Let me show you the skew, which is it's simply called garland, and of course it's from Dollar Tree. Here's the skew. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the vine off the stick. It's already coming off, but there's a, like a little loop that holds it on there, so you can just take that loop off and unravel it. When it's unraveled, you'll have this, and I just cut the loop off. So what I'm going to do now is find a place. I'm going to turn this upside down, I guess. I think I want to put like a glob of hot glue right in the center. And that's going to help hold this little piece in place. This piece of vine. And hold it until the hot glue sets up. Then I'll just wrap more of the vine around. Okay, so I locked it in place by adding a little bit of glue to the leaf. Okay guys, I'm back and I'm completely done with my little, what do we call this? Gazebo? <laughs> a candle holder? Put in the comments what you think we should call this. But I like the idea of it being a candle gazebo. Here's what it looks like from the side. Again, if you want to glam this up more, you can paint the leaves silver, put some glitter on them. But I like the idea of the greenery for spring and summer. Now, you can totally do this with the mirror on the top as well, but I would recommend you only using this type of candle. This one I found at Dollar Tree. It's an LED candle, so you don't have to worry about flames. So just pull this out and turn it on and you can use this let me turn the lights down now you can see the light from the candle a little better and of course I'll show you what it looks like in a darker room too because I'm going to use it for my bath and bodywork candles I have this candle holder I can put it right on the inside and then put my bath and bodywork candles in here and I'm making sure that none of the leaves are near the flame so what you can do to do that, you can just turn it and then tuck the leaves under the vine, but make sure they're not touching the flame. Actually, this candle is a little bit safer because the wax is really low. This is another way to use it. Again, I'll wait till it's dark and then come back and let you guys see what it looks like lit.